What's good, YouTube? It's your boy FB Aftermath, man. First, I want to start off by saying get the body analyzer scale 60% off. You have to get this deal now. All right, I like using this scale because it gives me numbers that I can base my training off of, off my eating, off the water retention that I'm dropping. So please, you must get this scale. It's been doing a big favor for me, and it can do a big favor for you as well. Now, to the workout. We doing some back right now. Uh, what you'll see in this workout is everything I've done on this day is a super set. So you see me doing lap pull downs, reverse grip, and then I'm doing bent over rows. One thing I wanna say to you guys is, one thing that's really changed in my training over the years is my form. You know, I've the more time that's went on, I've become stricter with my form, which is not something to complain about. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to become stricter with my form. But I noticed that the muscle mass and the weights and stuff that I use, I don't feel the same intensity as I used to anymore with, you know, the feeling of moving more weights, you know, in a still strict but less strict you know because you get the internet trolls and stuff talking about it strict form do this blah 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 full motion this blah blah and you know what it's time for me to really just cut all that bullshit out you know whatever pe people are telling me uh form this form that like I, I know good form i know what's good enough to get away with and still be safe in the movement and i'm gonna go back to the the, the Tehran, the Tehran that, that didn't take all those words so seriously. And sometimes I feel like there's a thing that's too strict, too strict all the time. It's good to be strict, but there's some times where you just want to get that little extra bit of weight, you know, for maximum muscle growth and strength that you kind of fall out of that form. And it's not a bad thing, you know. So don't be a strict police every single time, you know. I think there's a time and a place to be outside of that zone. And, um, you know, it can definitely benefit you. And you can still be safe doing it, you know. It's, being strict is all about safety and doing it correctly, of course. But you can still do it correctly and add a little bit of out-of-the-box motion to it in a way. Um, but anyways, you see me start with the super set. I did the little bit close grip um, pull downs with the barbell rows. And now I'm at the wide grip pull downs with the barbell rows. And uh, I think we're doing about eight to 12 reps on both back to back super set. Everything you see today will be a super set. Uh, this workout was pretty, pretty tough. Um, just more so of the pump just feeling like the muscles just being contracted i uh, feel you know the growth process starting through the workout you know I, even though we know the growth process starts with the recovery when you sleep blah 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 but you know what i mean when you get the pump the arnold sweats i got a pump you know or no you don't know i mean maybe anyways so we go to incline barbell rows. You'll see this in my program. A lot of people, if you can't find it sometimes on the pro, I mean, on YouTube. So bent over incline barbell rows, uh, sets eight to 12, mixed with pull-ups for six reps for four sets. All right, check out the no bull shoes right there. Yeah, shout out to no bull. You know what I'm saying? Reebok's over with, by the way, everybody. So. You know what? You live and you learn. You move on. You appreciate people and the things that they do for you. And you just live your life. And that's how you should live your life. But anyways, on this movement, I really like it with the dumbbell because I really get to feel the pull when I pull my elbows back. And sometimes I'll kind of like arch a little bit as I pull back just to get a stronger contraction. And um, it really helps me stay um, keep that, you know, lower spine, that hips in place, you know, because when you do over bent over rows with the barbell, you kind of get this hinge motion sometimes, which, like I said before, you may do that sometimes because of heavier weights, and there's a time and place to do that. So if I want to be a little bit more stricter, I go with this, and it's, you know, unilateral movement. Um, Sometimes, it, as you see me, I'm not doing it right now. I'm doing both dumbbells. But if I was doing one dumbbell at a time, then that would be considered a unilateral. But 
this uh, right here was pretty tough, especially using the pull-ups as the second movement because pull-ups are already hard. Honestly, for me, I'd rather do muscle-ups than pull-ups. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, muscle-ups, you can use that momentum. It's a little bit easier than pull-ups to me. So, pull-ups kind of bore me sometimes too. But I feel that pull-ups are great. Chin-ups are a great mass builder for the biceps. And I really like to start out bicep training um, with a little bit of back, as you've seen before, and, um, and some chin-ups. Chin-ups definitely are a must before I like fully get into my biceps workout. And today's biceps workout, you know, all together, doing just maximum amount of reps, crazy amount of reps. And what you see me doing right now are spider curls uh, with dumbbells, right? So I go open palms and then I go hammer for eight reps each. Eight open, eight hammer. And when you get to that hammer, you know, that hammer curl really helps build that thickness to your biceps. So when you say I have big arms or whatever, I, I love to do hammer curls. I love to do hammer curls. I, I used to do hammer curls like heavy. Like I would go all the way up to like 80s hammer curls. Maybe like four or five reps with 80 pounds. But I would hammer the shit out of those curls. You feel me? So, uh, what did I end up doing now? Oh, yeah. So, this was crazy. I was like, yo. What can I do right now just to just chase that pump, pump chases? Shout out to Chris Jones. I did 100 reps, 100 reps, 50 each arm. So 100 reps all together. So 50 reps each arm, 100 all together, and I just went ham. I started out with uh, the 30s, started out with the 30s, and then I think I, um, once I got to like 60 reps, I was like almost done so I dropped down to 20 and uh, ah. mm, mm, waiting on that moment oh there we go we're at the 20s oh no oops my bad I started with some 20s so your boy was being a little bitch I started with some 20s and ended it with the fatines ended it with the fatines and them joints was killing so hey once again it ain't always about crazy amounts of weights, man. You can get that growth with a lighter amount. Yo, I was killing these reps, though. Like, yo, I was feeling them. And I, I'm glad I did that. I was like, yo, let me just do something like 100 reps or whatever. And I did it. And came, saw, conquered. And I'm paying for it today because my arms is bugging, bro. Like, they hella bugging right now. So, I believe this was the last thing I did. I did preacher curls. You know, the basic preacher curls eight reps and then we went to the drag curls with the rope for a set a 20 look at that mm, mm, mm. but them biceps huge no i'm just joking my arms really ain't that big they're about like 18 and a half inches you know what i'm saying so but they look nice though i think at least i don't know i'll let y'all say i don't care but i'll let y'all say but yeah, eight reps preacher curls, um, 20 reps drag curls with the ropes. And remember with the drag curls, you wanna kinda move in um, as close as you can, not, um, not almost as close as you can to the um, the rope, to the cable. And then, well, you see my stance right there. That's how far you wanna be. And then, yeah, see, I stepped up, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, pulling those elbows back really trying to focus on that squeeze in the bicep that that big bubble you'll you'll feel it you'll feel it you'll feel like something's just internally just right there in your bicipious muscle trying to claw its way out it should feel like the popcorn at its max in the microwave right before it's about to pop that's how the bicep should feel anyways appreciate you guys Make sure you hit up my Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash aftermath, uh, FB aftermath. Uh, please show me some love there, man. It really mean a lot. And uh, catch you guys later. Yeah. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. My name is Jeff. <laughs>